WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. You're going to get all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 328, about 1%. S&P up 75, 1 and 7 tenths percent. NASDAQ 100, about 390, 2.5%. Russell's up 13, a half a percent. Semi's up uh, 332 points, 3.5%. And They're the big winners out here. Hey, let's go spend a few minutes and take a look at our market indice charts out here. Let's go ahead and change screens in a moment. Uh, you you will see in the white populated screen in the upper left, the Dow Jones Industrial. Now, the Dow here uh, would suggest to you and I that price might go target 34,443 out there. But that means we'd have to um, not pay attention to an important pattern that I'm going to share with uh, everybody uh, during the uh, segment that I do with Tom at about, uh, I think it's about 315, 320, sometime around that time frame. So at this stage here, what I'll share with you is the Dow has very likely bottomed, at least for the short term. The S&P 500, well, if the Dow is bottomed, Bottom than the S&P 500 is like the bottom as well. The pullback is still above its breakout level of 45.51, so no damage done there. There was certainly damage done to the Dow Jones, but no damage in the case of the S&P 500. The same as the case with the NDX 100. No real damage done there. Real damage would have to see a close below 15.578. That is its breakout area. It did not. In the case of Russell 2000, which looked horrible compared to the others, all it was really doing on the cash chart out here was pulling back to test its breakout level of 22.44, and that has held. You do see bar number seven out here but if the Dow and, and the NDX one or the Russell may make a lower low uh, maybe it does it uh, tomorrow out here to cement a TD9 count bottom. The semis right now, if price can close above their green oscillator and change line, which is what it's printing into right now, that level is 3885.78. 38.85.78. We're at 38.87 right now. A close above that says that the semis want to go back and tag that all-time high, which was that bearish engulfing candle. That is the resistance level. But what it, it would suggest to you and I that price is going to go at higher. The transports have really just been trading sideways. That spot volatility is likely on its way to its 50-day exponential moving average of 18.33. Currently printed at 22.16 out here. And the spot volatility continues to find support at its breakout level of 130.32. Folks, stay Stay tuned. David White with the Power Trading Hour. He's up next. He's your favorite polar bear. After that, Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home again. I'll join him at about 315, 320 today, and we'll take a look at that very important pattern. And when I share that with you, and I've shared it in the past, we don't take a look at it too often, but when I share it with you, you'll start tracking it on your system as well. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Have a marvelous Monday, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.